When I came to the Harvard School of Public Health, I wanted to study um, diseases um, that affected vulnerable populations, but had wide impact on public health. And one of these diseases is obesity, so that's something that affects my community. So I grew up in South Los Angeles, um, which is a, a working class neighborhood. And you know, although everyone's working really hard, you know, a lot of them do not have health insurance or access to health care. And, and I was one of these people. I grew up as a person that had no health insurance. So like I had to think twice when I wanted to play the pickup football game, you know, at the park or for basketball games or different activities like skateboarding. You know, I had always had it in the back of my mind that if I sprained my ankle or broke my leg, you know, I don't have a way to pay for this. You definitely grew up realizing you were coming from a different socioeconomic background as the people that live just a few miles away from you. you know, I have a family history of type 2 diabetes and, and I wanted to make an impact on this disease. Not necessarily at the epidemiology level, but more at the bench where I could help figure out like what is the cause of this disease and how can we intervene. So during obesity there's a cell called the macrophage um, that is part of your immune system um, that becomes inflamed. And what we can do is actually grow this immune cell in the lab and we could then perturb its environment and measure gene expression to see what are the pathways regulating this inflammation during obesity. And we think um, if we can limit this inflammation, we could actually help cure um, diabetes. And one thing I really love about HSPH is that there's such a great diversity, um, not only in the research we do, but also in the people that are here at HSPH. You get to meet people from all over the world. You know, I have an intramural soccer team. Um, that I play uh, once a week and you know it's really cool just to hang out with these people and we have doctors that are coming back to do MPH work and we have people that are doing statistical work on large data sets. You also have people like me who are basic molecular biologists um, so you know we, we all come together and it's one is to blow off steam but also um, we also talk about our research and inspire each other. I think the best thing about being a molecular biologist like I am is that we can just think of crazy ideas that we think you know may have an impact at the molecular level and, and actually try it. Every now and then they work, so that's you know that's something that, that drives me at least in what I do. Growing up in my community, um, you know, not, not many people actually graduated high school, let alone went to a four-year university and then actually did a PhD. So, you know, I never thought I'd actually go as far as I've gone. But now that I've gone this far, I know that there's much more to do. You know, like it's really opened my eyes to, you know, the world is yours.